So now that the level cap is 53 and all our level 50 gear will be completely irrelevant, well it will be to me, we need new sources of farming legendaries to match that level 53 cap. Today I bring you this amazing method in getting legendaries and at the same time, normal farming time, doubling up on all the legendaries you get. Yes, doubling them up. Double the drops. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another BL3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So level 53 is now the cap. So we need new places to farm legendaries. And today I bring you what in my opinion is the fastest way in going about this. Now this legendary farm is somewhat a bug I did cover about a week back, but it still works so I'd take advantage of it while you can. It's Freddy within the handsome jackpot, but with a twist. Did you know that when it comes to fighting Freddy, he can sometimes appear as a level 2? What this means is you can more or less kill him within a couple of shots of basically any weapon in the game. Now how this is triggered is quite simple, so let me explain and then I'll go on to explain the efficient farm in doubling up on all those legendaries. So go to the VIP tower upon the handsome jackpot and head up towards Shreddy's room. Here you will first have to take out all of his minion robots and then wait for him to spawn in. He's normally a level 50 plus, but he does indeed sometimes bug out and like I said, he comes in at a level 2. Now when he does spawn in, if he isn't a level 2 for you, simply quit out and load back in and repeat the process of killing the robots and waiting for him to spawn. For me, he's almost always a level 2. For others, they do indeed have to spend a few minutes quitting out and loading it back up before he does appear as a level 2. Now I know for a fact this works on Xbox, Playstation and PC as a lot of people in my Discord are loving it. So once he does appear as a level 2 for you people, you are then good to farming and how this works is as follows. Kill him, then simply fast travel back to the start of this VIP tower. Then just run back up to here and he will respawn instantly, ready for you to kill again. As once you get him at a level 2, he never changes unless you quit out and load back in. So fast travel is 100% fine. Now having the right weapon, you can kill him stupid fast spawning yourself in a ton of legendaries. Check this out on screen now, I kill him 3 times within a single minute, including the fast travel times, so you can see how efficient this is. Now the way to double up on your loot is pretty simple. Add a split screen player into this. What I did was as I play on Xbox and you can't add a guest, on my alt account I created and leveled up a Zane within the Scrap Trap Nest XP farm, a video I posted yesterday which is super efficient. And this took no time at all. And when I got that Zane up to that max level, yes in this video it's a 50 as it's all the footage, but he's a 53 now along with my main. What I did was add a split screen via the main menu, selected my alt account via a second controller and selected Zane and went back to Freddy. Now you don't even have to move on your alt account character and you'll still get those legendaries dropping from Freddy upon you killing him on your main. And what's even better about this people, if your alt account stays in spawn, he doesn't have to fast travel at all. So when you kill Freddy on your main and fast travel back to the start of this VIP area, it resets when you run back to Freddy, your auto count doesn't have to fast travel with you which makes this super efficient. You can put your second controller down, leave your auto count alone and just farm on your main. And you'll still double up on all those legendary drops. 
So after you've stacked up a load of legendaries, you are good to bring your ult account up into Freddy's area and sort through the ones you want by picking them up on your ult and dropping them for your main. And this is a super efficient farm in farming legendaries across the board. Now if Freddy ever does get fixed, which I guess he will do, he can always do the same in the slaughter shaft, having your ult account character with you. And it's just as easy here though, although you don't get as many legendaries. All you'd have to do is within the slaughter shaft is to start it up by both of you and your alt characters standing on the pad. Then you can either leave your alt account character to die or hide him in this back corner here. Either way, he will still get legendaries drop, which you can sort through and keep if you want. Now obviously these farms do indeed work without your alt character. If you ain't bothered about creating a new one and leveling it up, so feel free to solo these, but you can always borrow a friend's account. If you want to do this and can't be bothered to level up an alt character even though it is super quick using the Scrap Trap Prime Nest. I just created an alt character because it was quick and easy and on Xbox you can't add a guest. I'm not sure about PC or PS4, I'm not sure how they work, I play on Xbox. On PC it would be pretty easy though creating an alt if you can do that because you can just simply copy and paste save files so you can get basically an instant level 50 character I believe. On PS4, I'm not sure how it works, but I'm pretty certain you can create an alt account, have it signed in with your main at the same time, like you can on Xbox, and bring them both into the game via split screens. So that's pretty cool too. But this is how I've been farming prior to this level 53 being introduced, and it's how I will continue farming to get those weapons now at a level 52, my weapons and items. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.